Warning, the following video will contain language of a frank and explicit nature. Viewer discretion advised. It will also contain a very strong, uh, let's just say, opposing message to the Trump campaign and those associated with it. So, if four-letter words offend you, or if bad-mouthing your 45th president of the United States offends you, please stop watching now. For everybody else, I'm Dave, darker than Damien, more savage than Vandal, and this is the Trump Roast. Now, if you're wondering why I'm doing that little intro, that's an intro I do when I do my Arrow Roast videos. And if you're wondering about darker than Damien, more savage than Vandal, it is a reference to two villains in the Arrowverse, Damien Dark and Vandal Savage. I'm saying this because I'm pretty sure the main audience that's going to be looking at this are going to be um, people that have their head up 45's ass and have an orange stain around their neck to prove it. Anyway, see, <laughs> I was riding high, man. I really was. This week has been something I've been waiting for for over a year. This is the first week that starts off on the CW, The Crisis on Infinite Earths storyline. <clears throat> it's taken from the biggest crossover storyline in comic book history. A cataclysmic event that affects everything in the entire DC comic book universe. And its ramifications have been felt in other comic books ever since. It's been amazing. So anyway, why am I doing this? Well... Yesterday, I was really looking forward to enjoying myself, and I kind of did, for the most part. Hour three of Crisis was coming on. I got myself some Chinese takeout. Got some donuts from Dunkin' Donuts for dessert. I'm sitting back at home. Nothing's going to disturb me. I'm ready to rock and roll on this motherfucker. And what comes on my Facebook feed? That motherfucker. Motherfucker goddamn. <clears throat> Somebody associated with Trump, I think directly tied to the White House, superimposed Mr. Cheeto in Chief's head on the body of Thanos. Now, in case you've been living under a rock, Thanos has been the bad guy in Marvel Comics and the Marvel Cinematic Universe, or MCU. His goal, to assemble six Infinity Stones to create the Infinity Gauntlet and to uh, actually conserve our resources, because we're all running out. I can't believe this. They did this to make him more relatable, by the way. He snaps his fingers, and half of all life in the universe is fucking gone. Now... Trump, <laughs> he signed off on this. He approved this. And I have a little something in my eye. I think it's, uh, hold on, I think it's stupid. Uh, I can't fucking believe this. Yeah, I'm wiping out the stupid now. Oh, look. I think it's actually orange tinted. Uh, oh, that's so much better. Ah, uh, Yes. It's out. See, that's the, that's the thing. It was annoying the fuck out of me, dude. It really was. But I wasn't going to let it ruin my time for watching Crisis. Now, Crisis has been freaking amazing. If you haven't seen it yet, I strongly suggest that you do. Oh, that's so much better. Ah, Just had to scratch that itch. Anyway. So this stupid motherfucker. On the night of one of the biggest comic book crossover TV show events ever. Puts his head on the MCU's biggest villain to date. Someone that has an army of devoted followers. Who blindly follows orders. Who takes out anything that's different just because his master said so. All for supposedly the greater good. So apparently... <laughs> Trump thinks that Thanos was making the universe great again. Not a good fucking role model, Donnie! I mean, I understand, you know, 
one miscolored person to another. I mean, it's a lonely being an orange guy having to relate to a purple guy. But here's the thing. Not only is the idea of you playing a genocidal maniac on a cosmic scale fucked up and actually kind of telling, but it's highly inaccurate, and I'm going to tell you the fuck why. See, <laughs> you see, Thanos in the MCU was actually watered down. In the comic books, Thanos was actually a straight-up nihilist. He worshipped death and destruction. Now, when I say worship death and destruction, I mean he was genuinely trying to get in the pants of the physical manifestation of death herself. Basically a female Grim Reaper. Thanos is trying to hit that. But you see, he did that, he did the thing to kill half the universe to get her attention. To try to win her heart. Seriously, he did this to be Cyrano de Bergerac or some shit. He was trying to Romeo that bony bitch. Not once, not once, did Thanos ever, ever try to grab her by the bony pussy. Nope, nope. You know, he never tried charging death like a bitch. No, 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 no. He tried to woo the fucking Reaper. That ain't you, Donnie. But then, then we got when... Thanos became Disney-fied because, you know, they got to make it to where the characters aren't heroes or villains anymore. They have to make it to where they're characters and the roles are interchangeable. Okay. When you see Thanos, he realized that the universe would wipe itself out because there were too many people going around and not enough resources. So, he was opposed to you know, the pro-life movement. So there's that. And second, <laughs> he was doing it to save life in the environment. Now, given that you try to push through the pipelines, that you're promoting flat-out murder of hibernating animals, that you're trying to put pipelines and, and trying to mine Native American lands and preserve natural forests... Thanos is a better conservationist and hero to the environment than you will ever be. He doesn't deny climate change. You hear that, Donnie? Thanos doesn't deny climate change! Oh, God. See, Donnie, this is where you fucked up. See, comic book readers can tell right from wrong. We are taught how to think outside the box, how to go outside the normal narrative, although we do like the narrative between good and evil. And we also see enough that when someone starts taking out the human rights of other people, infringing on the basic human rights and laws that govern the freedom of other people, <clears throat> when you see someone essentially trying to destroy sacred lands, trying to pollute or to rape mining resources just for a buck, or how about when you cozy up to dictators? You know, when you keep the company of fucking dictators? Comic book fans are smart enough to know you're the fucking bad guy. And that's not just narrative. You're fucking evil. Now let's take a look here. I have no idea about Josh Brolin, the guy who played Thanos and where he stands. But I know for a fact that Chris Evans, the guy that played Captain America, has opposed you several times on Twitter. The guy who plays Captain America thinks you're an evil fucking dick, Donnie. Oh, let's go even better, though, okay? Uh, since you decided to try to put this shit in and interrupting my night for Crisis on Infinite Earths, let's go to the other side here. Let's take a look at some people associated with DC Comics and Warner Brothers. John Wesley Shipp, the guy who played the Flash in the 90s, who also played Henry Allen slash Jay Garrick uh, slash bringing back the 90s Flash in Crisis. He thinks you're a dick. 
He's also not crazy about your stance against LGBTQ stuff, taking down their protections and their safeguards from the White House and the national thing going on there. So um, he thinks you're a dick. An evil dick, by the way. Melissa Benoist, actress who plays Supergirl. Not only did she attend the Million Woman March against you, you're welcome, but she also had a whole thing last season where the president became this xenophobic bigot against aliens. Huh, that sounded really fucking topical. I wonder where they got the idea for that. Because it was extremely relevant and well done. Oh, by the way, for you uh, Trump followers who don't know what that means, xenophobe means essentially you are afraid of anything foreign or strange to you. It doesn't just have to be someone from another country. It just has to be something different than what you're used to. So I guess in most people in the uh, Bible Belt Red States, that would be a book. <laughs> ha! Ah! I'm not talking about the Bible. That's been disproven. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm saying, I'm saying that there are people in the fucking red states that are so backwards thinking. There are teachers, I say this with the quotes, teachers who I shit you not think that reading comic books leads to illiteracy. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta cough up the bullshit. That's a stoop. How the fuck can reading anything lead to illiteracy? How? And this is your space, you fucking Cheeto. Oh my God. But anyway, so Captain America thinks you're an evil dick. The 90s Flash thinks you're an evil dick. Supergirl thinks you're an evil dick. George Takei, Sulu from Star Trek. Think sure an evil dick. Oh, here's something really funny. Okay, you're going to love this. Recently, actor John Cryer, who most people might know from uh, as Ducky from Pretty in Pink, uh, Alan, uh, or, yeah, Alan, what's his name? Uh, Harper, Alan Harper from Two and a Half Men. Recently, he's been added to the Arrowverse cast as Lex Luthor. And he was actually Lenny Luthor in Superman 4, The Quest for Peace, but we're not trying to talk about that. Anyway, <laughs> he has been one of the best portrayals of Lex fucking Luthor ever. And in fact, did you know, in the comic books, Lex Luthor, the guy well known for trying to take over the world and kill Superman, actually ran for president and became president. Guess what? He released his taxes and sold his company sold his company. Lex fucking Luthor is a better president than Donald fucking Trump. How do we get to this fucking world? Oh my God. Oh, by the way, Cryer, I've talked to him on Twitter. He thinks you're an evil fucking dick. <laughs> so let's see. We've got people who play superheroes and also... One of the most notable supervillains that think Donald Trump is a straight up fucking evil dick. Oh, 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 here's another thing. Jim Starlin, the guy who created the character Thanos, when he saw that your head was put on his character's body, he was physically moved to being repulsed physically. It disgusted him. A fucking idyllic villain of nihilistic desire and destruction of everything good. And Donnie just superimposed himself on there. But we can't turn the page. He's there. Well, we can turn the page either by this impeachment or by voting blue in 2020. See, you fucked up, Donnie. Of all the minorities, of all the fringe groups you may have pissed off. There's one group you have not even considered. You see, you were even asked one time about who's your favorite superhero, and you jokingly said Batman because you're a billionaire and you were never seen with Batman together at the same time. Yeah, you ain't Batman, motherfucker. <clears throat> Hell, 
you ain't Robin. <laughs> you aren't even the Riddler's fucking henchman. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> you know, the Joker has his skin bleached white. And he's at least clever. He was the first supervillain. You're orange. And the best you could do is put babies in cages. <laughs> you fucking bush league dipshit. <laughs> oh my god, seriously. As I was saying... See, Donnie, whether it be uh, various religious groups, the LGBTQ, Democrats, people with a half a brain, all these things, even your own base that you lied to to get the vote and now are realizing you're betrayed are jumping ship away from you. But here's the thing. There is one group you have underestimated and it's going to cost you dearly. You see, you can do a lot of shit. And you have done a lot of wrong things. And you are going to ultimately pay for them. But the one thing you don't do. You never. Never. Get on the wrong side of pissed off comic book fans. You compared yourself to Thanos. Superheroes and supervillains. Alike. Think you are genuinely an evil dick. And more evil than President Lex Luthor. And you don't even fit as Thanos. You only got the megalomaniacal part right. Not anything else. You're not really anything but a sad man on a gold toilet who's afraid of anyone even saying the name of your son out loud. Baron, 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 Baron! Hey, if he grew up to be a thief... Would he be a robber baron? Oh, or how about how about if he had a cow farm? Would he be a cattle baron? Oh, oh, yeah. How about how about how about if he grew up to be a Republican uh, in, in the red state? Would that make him a red baron? Oh, I got it, I got it. What if he got sick of your shit, joined the Bernie bandwagon, voted for Bernie Sanders? Would that make him a Sharon Baron? You fucking asshole. You don't piss off comic book fans and think you're going to get away with it. And we're going to turn out with a lot of blue ink in 2020. So um, enjoy it while it lasts, dickhead, because your story is going to be ending in a very hardcore chapter. Don't drop the soap. Well, or maybe you can. Maybe something can help to uh, wash your back off a little bit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Say hi to Mike Pence for me. Yeah. Fucking. Yeah. <laughs> gay conversion therapy, asshole. No, 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 no. You don't convert gay people, see? Because there's nothing wrong with gay people. And all you're trying to do is to break their wills and brainwash their asses into conforming to what you think is normal. But uh, torture ain't fucking normal. Torture is what evil people do. Evil, evil supervillains. Oh, by the way, by the way, Mike Pence looks like, in the comic book, God Loves Man Kills for X-Men. Looks like Colonel William Stryker, the reverend who is against mutants and thinks that they're abominations. What do you think about orange people, Mike? Or, I'm sorry, are you are your lips too chapped with Cheeto dust to answer that right now? Don't worry, we'll, we'll get that answer later. But anyway, Donnie, 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 you done fucked up. You pissed off comic book fans. We're coming for you. And you're not going to like the result. Peace.